Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. I hope you had a very nice Wednesday and that everything went well. I hope also that you are back home and that you had your dinner. Right? So uh, remember to move on with the platform. That is very, very important. So and uh, that you have finished by now the uh, unit one, the unit two, and also the midterm test. So that is very, very important. Okay, we are going to uh, check the attendance as we usually do. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidón. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Present teacher. Present. Okay, okay. Uh, Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Nice. Teacher, I don't, I, I don't hear my name. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was before, I guess. Welcome to the class. Okay, so let's continue with the class. We are still working about the warehousing and we're going to continue with the book by now. So we are still in unit number three and it says warehouse. I will be able to identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse processes. Okay, and the first question in Let's Start says, what are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? So that is a very good question. What do you think? What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? And products and... En mal estado, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, bad condition, you can say. Bad condition, the products. Okay, that is true. Sometimes because of many reasons, you receive uh, yes. supplies or raw materials or products that are in bad condition. So definitely should be good. Um, what else can happen? And the delay the delay of the product stay in the in the warehouse for me is a problem or or delay for the transporting the product of okay. the warehouse. That is a very common problem actually, the delay. Uh they try but sometimes it's not possible because of many reasons and that impacts your production, right? Another another uh, situation is uh it's a bad control uh plagas. Yeah, plagues, control. Yeah, depending on the product, that may be a very bad problem, right? It has to be something that we really consider, right? Yes. Good, perfect. And then the next question says, how do you identify and prevent possible issues? Mm, that is also a very good question. How we prevent these issues to affect us? 
for me, for me, teacher, um, uh, how I identify uh, and prevent possible issues, uh, identify uh, good providers. Uh, for example, for different criteria, uh, quality, um, the products on time, and in the in the other criteria, teacher. Okay, that is true. So you need to identify what is the best provider, not only about the cost, but also about the efficiency, uh, the effectiveness, if they are on time, if they uh, deliver products in good condition, many things, right? Um, the distance, for example, where they are. So all of those are very, very, so you can prevent this thing to happen. Okay, so let's check the uh, conversation. It says, Mrs. White and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase orders. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Of course, as usual, I'm going to say, you are going to check pronunciation, then you practice, and then let's check about the vocabulary. So it says, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but products still don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the current numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid it for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Good. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Reimbursement. 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 Yeah, reimbursement. Okay. What mean reimbursement, teacher? Reimbursement. Uh, reimbolso. Reimbolso. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, in the second paragraph, uh, about that Daniel mentioned. Oh, I bet it happened during the day the systems received maintenance. 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 Recibió mantenimiento. No. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Y, y el, cuando dice that's why your department por uh, esa es, razón sería no exactly yeah that's why that's why por esa razón su departamento no recibió la información correcta yeah. a tiempo gracias good, good any other question Okay, so let's practice. Uh, let's start with Ernesto and Ramiro. Let's see how it goes. Yes, in my pleasure. I am Miss Mrs. White. Ernesto, do you agree? Okay, uh, totally agree, Ramiro. Go ahead. Thank you, Ernesto. Daniel, I am going over some purchase orders, but the products received uh, don't match the orders. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the systems received my names and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that is fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I, I don't know if if Ramiro mentioned this this part. Uh yes, you you are going to be this. Yes, you are Daniel uh, Ernesto. Hello, can you hear? 
Yeah, I believe that he has a problem in the audio. Yes. Uh, you can hear me, teacher? Yes. Hi, Ramiro. Hi, Ernesto. You you finish uh, with the uh, part of, of Daniel. I believe he cannot hear. That is the real problem. I'm going to check. I can, I can hear. Uh, let me see. I'm going to chat. Um, I I can I can hear you, Ernesto. Okay, and um, my part I I read the of with the correct numbers. Yeah, yeah. Parece que no le escuchaba, pero sí la dijo Ramiro. Ah, okay, okay. Entonces, okay. I continue. Yes, please. I will I will send the document to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a. Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Thank you, Ernesto. Good. So now we're going to go with Ana Hernandez and let's see, Oseas. Okay. Daniel, I, I'm going over some purchase order. But the product received don't match the orders. This how the this has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. Maintenance. That's why maintenance. Maintenance. And, maintenance. Okay, maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we offer pay for the three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Good, very nice. Now, Juan Roberto and Maria Julia. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Mr. White. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase order, but the product received don't match to don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh. I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the the, the finance department that the finance. finance department determined the, the wrong cost. Has a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the, the documents to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Roberto Carlos, and uh, uh, is it possible for you, Mauricio Rivera? Okay. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead with Roberto Carlos. Ready. Okay. Um, if you want to be Daniel. Okay. Yes, no problem. Okay. Daniels, I'm going on purchase orders, but the products are received. On match the order, this has happening. Three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the day. The system received man maintenance. Maintenance. And that, maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of we have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance. Determinator 
the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. Incomplete orders. I will send the documents to you to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Veronica and Aida, they say that it's possible. Let's see. Sandra, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. And Jonathan, Ariel, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sandra and Jonathan, let's see how it goes. Okay. Sandra, if you want, I can be Mr. White. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Zoom. Zoom. Okay. okay, okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase order. Daniel. But the product okay. but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet I happen. Oh, we can't hear you, Sandra. During the day, this is maintenance. Maintenance. And you, you can hear? Maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maintenance. And that's why our, your dep dep department did receive the right information in time. We have a copy of why, why the correct numbers. Well, that's fan fantastic. The information sent to me finance department the the term the terminate the wrong cost as a result we overpaid some three incomplete orders i will send the document to your department by five so can contact the company and okay okay very good perfect thank you uh, there was some problems on the audio but it was good thank you very much uh, let's see monica avalos is it possible for you oh, not possible Celia patricia is it possible for you yes. okay what about Blanca? Is it possible for you? Yes. Okay. So let's listen, Sylvia and Blanca. Okay. Okay. I, um, uh, Daniel. Whatever you want. Daniel, I am going over some purchase. Mm -hmm. Please continue. Yes, go ahead. It happened. Orders, but the product received don't match the orders. It has happened three times already. Oh, I, I. I bet. I bet. The maintenance and so why? You me? I bet. Oh, I bet. It happened. Oh, I bet. I bet it happened during the day. The assist in my and that's why your department didn't receive the right in, in time. We have okay, the correct. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Mr. White. 
Okay, well, that's fantastic. The information sell to the finance department determined the bond cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. Habla. Okay, I will send the document to you, department by five. So you can contact the, the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. So uh, let's check some pronunciation things, okay? Uh, received. Remember, this is received. Happened. I bet. Maintenance department is not department but department. Uh, let's see. Finance. Let's see. That is our the last one is reimbursement. Okay, so let's check some vocabulary. Don't match. What is to match? Es como emparejar dos valores. Very good. That is it. Okay. And what is the orders? What is orders? Orden. Very good. The compra. Nice. I bet. What is I bet? Apostar. Apostar. Yo apuesto. Very good. Uh, uh, we remember that maintenance is mantenimiento. Let's see. What is wrong? Well, very good. Overpaid. Sobrepago. Sobrepago. Very good. And we check that reimbursement is reimbursed, right? Reimbursed. Good. Do you have any questions on this conversation? Okay. So now we're going to do the exercise three. It says pair work. Read the conversation again and complete the sentences. I believe this is something that we can do together. So it says, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. Aha, uh -huh. what is here? What do you have to write here? That's why. Very good. That's why your department didn't receive the right information time. Very good. And the number two says the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. Uh huh. As a result. Very good. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. Nice. Very good. So now let's check transitions of result. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Rene, will you please help me reading this? Okay. How to use the transition of results. Look at the samples in the book that completes the exercise below. Transition helps connect ideas. In this case, is transition connects a result to the action that causes it when the transition is opposed between two clauses. Punctuation can be as follows the level information was wrong. As a consequence, the package were put in the correct bins. Bins is or bins? Bins. Bins. Okay. The products were not properly packaged as a result, the wares 
Damas. The ben vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the retail asked for a reimbursement. 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 We didn't know that their warehouse wears dangerous chemi chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to, to go to the hospital. There were not worker safety guidelines. Therefore, we trained the staff on safety procedures. Producers. Procedures. Procedures. Sorry. The, that's fine. Okay, so this is the grammar. So transitions. How to use transitions of results. So when you use a transition of result, it's because you are going to say a consequence, a result. So there is one idea, and then is the consequence that happened after the first idea. Okay, so transitions help connect ideas. In this case, this transition connect as a result to the action that causes. So there are two ideas. That's why it's a clause. Remember that clauses are like that. You have two ideas together. So the first idea is the cause and the second idea is the consequence. And it says when the transition is positioned between two clauses, punctuation can be as follows. So this is this rule is when we have the transition words or phrases in the middle between the two clauses. So the first one it says, the label information was wrong, period. So you can use a period. And then as a consequence, comma. That is very important, period and comma, okay? As a consequence, comma, the packages were put in the correct bins. So, uh, what is label? Do you remember what is label? Etiqueta. Very good. And um, packages. What is packages? Empacar. Paquetes. Very good. And what is pins? Vigas. Mm. O estantes. O something like estante, compartimiento. Contenedores. Okay. Contenedores. Very good. All right. So here the important is the period and the comma, okay? Those are very, then it says, the products were not properly packaged, period. Again, very important. As a result, comma, that is, very important. they were damaged. What is damaged, do you remember? Bañado. Very good, that is it, okay? Also, we can use, uh, do, do you remember how do you say uh, punto y coma? ¿Cómo se dice punto y coma in English? Un nombre algo raro. It's true. Yes. <laughs> semicolon. Sí, cabal. Yeah, semicolon. So, we can use periods or we can use semicolon. For example, the vendors missed the delivery date. Semicolon, right? Consequently, comma, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. Very good. Or uh, we have the other example here. Uh, for first of all, what is vendors? Los vendedores. Vendedores, very good. The vendors missed the delivery date, okay? So the other one is, huh? Is there a salesman? Yeah, but the difference is that the salesman or saleswoman or salesperson is one person that when you go into a store, they help you. But the vendors is a company that gives you a product or service. So that is the difference. Plural. Not plural, but the company. Okay. Very good. Okay. So it says, we didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment, semicolon. As a result, 
comma, some workers have to go to the hospital. So do you remember what is chemicals? Chemicals. Very peligrosos. Nice. And the last one says there were no worker safety guidelines. Semicolon. Therefore, comma, we train the staff in safety procedures. Uh, what is worker safety guidelines? What is that? Guías de seguridad para el trabajador. Very good. Perfect. And yes. Fire, my other vocabulary. <laughs> Good. So uh, we can use a period or we can use a semicolon. Remember that after the transition word or phrase, we have to use a comma. So those are teacher, very, very important. Huh? Teacher, in, 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 the <clears throat> in the sentence, uh, the label information, uh, for example, um, the key uh, how to know uh, with uh, um, for the um, if I write a period or semicolon is the next letter uh, is in, in mayúscula capital letter capital letter because, because in the the sentence we didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment, the next letter is a common letter. Is yeah, this uh, is, is semicolon? Uh well, yes. If you use a semicolon, the next letter is going to be lowercase. If you have a period, the next word is going to be um uppercase. So Yes, that is going to be together, right? Semicolon, lowercase, and period, uppercase. Okay, teacher, thank, thank you. Very good. Do you have any other questions about this? Okay, now we're going to do the exercise here with the warehouse issues below apply the corresponding punctuation. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into the exercise. Okay.
Okay, so let's check my friends. Uh, who wants to share the first one? <clears throat> the first one, teacher, we removed items from cartoons and package. A semicolon, as a result, comma, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Very good, perfect. So that is it. Uh, so it's going to be packages, semicolon, as a result, comma, pickers. Nice, that is the correct one. Uh, I love Holocuita, teacher. Uh, really? Did you go? <laughs> <laughs> the, Very good. The Sunday, Sunday, eight pupusas at Olocuilta. Yeah, I was planning to go, but I couldn't. Very good, uh, but it's good, but it was good. Nice, amazing. Yeah, very, very good. The the rice pupusas, very good. In yeah, there. maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe when we finish the model, we can have an excursion. Everybody go to eat pupusas to Olocuilta. Yeah, Daniel. <laughs> Ah, good idea. <laughs> Go ahead, teacher. Yeah, that, this that is, is a this good is, plan. This is a motivation time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good. Let's planify it. Let's see who can go. So it would be very good. A nice trip. And of course, we're going to speak only in English. Yes. <laughs> of course. Very good. Perfect. All right. So a few questions here. Items from cartons. What is cartons? Caja de cartón. It's something like that. Yes, cartons are like recipients for you to package things, right? And pickers. What is pickers? Eh, son las personas que levantan los paquetes. Very good. Those are pickers. Nice. Oh, perfect. So who wants to share number two? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. But, uh, pick it. Consequently, comma, we have to waste time to open the box, comma, count the items and rebox them. Very good. So the vendor is sh shipping multiple items in a single box. Uh, you can use semicolon, yes. Consequently, comma. We have to waste time to open box, count the items, and rebox them. That is not good. Imagine that one. Imagine that the vendor ships a lot of uh, items uh, in a package that is not the correct package. So you have to open the package, then check the items, and then package again. So you waste time. That is, not good. but that happens. That happens in yeah. this kind of companies. Um, when you say, let me see. A single box. What is that? Cajas. Eh, Cajas de una. Eh, ajá, para un solo artículo. Very good. And do you remember what is waste time? Ah, el tiempo. Perder tiempo. Desperdiciar tiempo. Very good. And what is rebox? Reempacar. Very good. To rebox that. Nice. Okay, who wants to share number three? The third sentence, teacher. Okay. The warehouse doesn't have enough ducks, semicolon, therefore, comma, we have to put products in the ice list. Very good. So the warehouse doesn't have enough ducks, semicolon. Therefore, comma, we have to put the products in the, ah, this is very interesting. The pronunciation of this word is ales. Uh, the first S, we ales. don't say. Uh, la primera S no se dice en esta palabra. Ales. Ales, okay. Yeah, it's similar to the word island, island. Uh, but it's not island, it's island. And the first S, you don't say that one. It's island. Interesting. Uh, and let's check some vocabulary. What is ducks? Do you remember? What is duck? Es donde llega la mercadería y la bajan de los camiones. Very good. That's Muelles. Como... 
como un muelle, un puerto para community. So, uh, and ales, what is ales? Pasillo. Pasillo. Very good. Ales. Nice. The number four. Who wants to share number four? Anybody? The com the conveyor belt broke as a consequence semicom. There is not a no com comma stop to put a raving package away. Okay, very good. So in this case, the semicolon is going to be. Uh, after broke, so the conveyor belt broke, semicolon. As a consequence, comma, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. So that will be the right one, okay? And let's check some vocabulary. This is an interesting one. The conveyor belt, do you know what is that? Yo. Cinta transportadora. Very good. La banda transportadora. So it's like a machine, right? That it has a band, a belt that is moving the packages. So that can be your belt broke in mind. As a consequence, there is not enough stuff to put arriving packages away. So remember that this is very interesting. If you see, uh, if this is put away, this is a verb. But sometimes, well, for first of all, these verbs are called phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are very, very common in English. And is a verb with a preposition or any other word. For example, get in, get out, get down. Uh, all those are phrasal verbs. And sometimes, not always, sometimes it's possible to separate the phrasal verbs. When you separate a phrasal verb, means that you can put something in the middle of the phrasal. So that is it. In this case, this is put away, but you have a noun in the middle of the phrasal. So it's very good. Do you remember what is put away? What is put away? When you put something in the correct, correct way, correct? Uh, place. Perfect. That is it. When you put everything in its place, right? So that will be it. Nice. Uh, do you have any questions here on this uh, exercise? No, teacher, but this is very, very important the punctuations for the, the good or the better comprehensions in a sentence for the logical. Uh, just yeah you are so right i mean uh in english if, if you don't write the punctuation properly when somebody's reading they don't understand so punctuation is very very important and also the position of some words that is very important so people understand what you want to say okay so let's do a little exercise i will leave you here the chart and you are going to write, let's say, three sentences. Three sentences with this kind of uh, transition words with the punctuation. And then you are going to share that one. Okay. I will give you a few minutes for you to write three sentences with this.
Okay, so let's check. Who wants to share your sentences? Let's see how it goes. I have I have a sentence, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this week, El Salvador will have his second Miss Universe. Period. As a consequence, we will have a lot of traffic on the street. Very good. As a consequence, comma, right? Uh, we will have... Comma, yes, a... comma, yes. Nice. Perfect. That is perfect. Very good. Any other example, people, of what you wrote? Okay, so uh, we are going to check. Just check here. We're going to see a video. This is an interesting one. Uh, and whenever you finish watching this one, let me know what uh, what you understood on the video. Okay. Let's okay, see uh, how it goes. Hold on. Let me just enable something. Here's it. Okay, so let's see what you understand on this one. This land is valuable for the evolving U.S. economy. Right now, I'm at Dutch Springs Aqua Park, and this land will be transformed into warehouses. The U.S. will need 1 billion square feet of new industrial space by 2025 to keep up with demand. That estimate doesn't account for all the warehouses that have already hit the market in the last year. The first warehouse, I and five other people tried to stop it in the township. We, what we realized is, is we couldn't stop it. And what that did was just start a, a progression of one warehouse after the other. We were the last property. One warehouse will be in Bethlehem Township. The other one will be in Lower Nazareth Township and investors are noticing. The last 12 months have seen the most growth in our industry, say from a square footage, um, new requirement perspective, than ever in the history of the industry. That expansion is shifting local economies where these commercial industrial real estate markets are particularly red hot. Like here in the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania. And it's all happened rather rapidly, and that creates an obvious backlash. We can't have another warehouse on another piece of farmland or open space. Our folks are very upset about the warehouses. So we used to be quite welcome, and the worm has definitely turned, especially in places like the Lehigh Valley. People feel like, when's enough enough? But warehouses support the online shopping boom and the push for faster deliveries. Consumer expectations. Our expectations are not going down by any means. That's where the demand from warehouses is coming from. And the industry is effectively sold out through the end of next year. Even if you want space tomorrow, there's a shortage of it. What do all these warehouses mean for American consumers and business people from Wall Street to Main Street? about 11,000 existing warehouses in North America, equaling over 4.7 billion square feet as of 2020. During 2020, another nearly 190 million square feet of warehousing space was under construction in North America. It's all about proximity to consumers. For example, one of the biggest markets is the Southern New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania region. Smack in the middle of that market is the Lehigh Valley, which happens to be where I live. Plus it ranked number one for the market with the most warehouses under construction with 25.2 million square feet of buildings in the works. And over 45% of those are already leased. I was born here in the Lehigh Valley. I've seen progress. My name is Stuart Schooley. I am president of Dutch Springs, 72 years old. Actually, yeah, 72. No, I'm 73 now. October 22nd was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tendency to forget these things as you get older. <laughs> the Lehigh Valley is right next to Pennsylvania's I-78. 
a major highway connecting big cities like New York to eastern Pennsylvania that allows for one day access to millions of people. In fact, there's more than 8 million people just within 50 miles of the market's core. The region is centrally located along the east coast, close to three major ports, the Port of New York and New Jersey, the Port of Baltimore, and the Port of Philadelphia. Not to mention easy access to railroads, 100 major interstate interchanges, and multiple international airports. This isn't just happening in the Lehigh Valley. It's also a broader U.S. story, like in Chicago and Southern California. Twelve of the last 14 buildings that we have built in Southern California were 100% leased before they were finished. That's how strong demand is. Amid the warehouse boom, the once plentiful supply of land is tightening up. That's pushing developers to get more creative and find more unconventional spots like an aqua park and diving center if they want to keep building here. Dutch Springs has become surrounded by warehouses. Dutch Springs is a recreation area. We started it for scuba diving only. We put in an aqua park, which is a water park on the water. The aqua park has been taken down for the winter season. We also put in an aerial park, which is a high ropes course and wall climbing, zip line, bouncer for other attractions for the general public rather than just scuba divers. Owners Stuart and Jane Schooley have been running the business for more than 40 years. Dutch Springs sits on about 100 acres of land and half of that 50 acres is the lake that has become a scuba diving hotspot in the area. I, you know, I enjoyed people coming here. I, enjoy, I enjoyed watching them have fun. But soon this land will be home to two roughly 300,000 square foot warehouses developed by Trammell Crow. The schoolies saw an opportunity to retire by selling the land. When a friend down the street who sold his land, when I heard what he got for, the, for his acreage, um, I said, I went and called him. And now I should be able to retire. 10, 15, 20 years ago, you went there because there were plenty of farms. Now it's becoming harder and, and we're on to the sites like the one that we have uh, under contract on Hanoverville Road. I guess, it, you know, uh, I'm a, a greedy capitalist, but, uh, uh, you know, it gave us the security that we needed here in our later years. Because as a bit small business owner, you don't put money away. Uh, it goes right back into the business all the time. So. We, our, our retirement was the land and it kept going up and up in value. But since they're still under contract, neither party would disclose the value of the deal. But it's safe to say it's a fair amount. The continued warehouse development in the Lehigh Valley has become a point of controversy. As I say, tough bananas. <laughs> I'm not doing anything that hasn't been already done here. <laughs> There was a lot of outreach. A lot of people wanted to preserve the, the quarry and the, and the diving opportunities that are there. And so when we heard people were interested in this, we said, let's try to figure this out. First responders who do water rescues come to Dutch Springs to be trained on how to do that. I believe there will be some type of diving operation here. We'll work our project around it. Right now, there's at least 8.8 .8 million square feet of industrial space under construction, and industrial rent has increased 11.3% year over year. The total square footage of the industrial space in the Lehigh Valley is over 132 million square feet. Why the warehouses want to be here, it's the same reason that the divers come here. We are centrally located between Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. And the Lehigh Valley's growing population is attractive to companies looking to reshore operations or shorten supply chains in an affordable area in the heart of the Northeast. The Lehigh Valley's GDP hit a record $43.3 billion just before the pandemic, and over 16% of that economic activity was part of its strong manufacturing sector. The area is home to Crayola, Mack Trucks, and Peeps Maker Just Born, just to name a few. We have to create an environment where good jobs can be created. According to CBRE's research, the Northeastern PA and New Jersey market's warehouse labor force of about 190,000 is expected to grow by 13.4% over the next decade. You know, that's translating to, um, you know, $45,000 a year for somebody with just a high school diploma. Workers right now are, are benefiting greatly from what's happened in the Lehigh Valley economy.
The man in the green hood was there in that warehouse. And he's just beginning. We will win the war. Arrow. In logistics real estate, warehouses like this one are much more than stagnant storage space. Yeah, so what's logistics real estate? I think the number one thing you should think of is constant motion. Goods getting from where they're produced to where they're consumed. They need to make multiple stops on that journey. A warehouse is an industrial big box facility. It's a distribution center of at least 200,000 square feet. Basically, it's a giant living, breathing mailbox. There are three different areas that are driving the need for more warehousing space. Logistics and distribution, third-party logistics, and then e-commerce. E-commerce is basically conducted by a company online. Related is logistics and distribution. Imagine you buy something online. And once you place the order, how does it get to your doorstep? It's that trucking company or a logistics and distribution company like a UPS or a FedEx that's picking up that package from the e-commerce facility and then delivering it to the last mile, which is your doorstep. We own and develop buildings and we lease them out to the world's leading retailers, our top 25. Our customers include uh, Amazon, XPO, FedEx, and UPS, a wide range of the world's leading companies. According to its latest earnings report, its net earnings per diluted share was 97 cents for the quarter, compared with 40 cents for the third quarter of 2020. Its portfolio includes 612 million square feet of industrial real estate in the U.S. In fact, Prologis is Amazon's biggest landlord. Besides the national ones like Prologis, um, Link Logistics is another big one. They are a subsidiary of Blackstone. Um, then you've got a lot of other um, players like Clarion Partners. They're regional players as well. Other major national players include Duke Realty. Today, about 165 million square feet of space in 19 markets across the country, the major distribution markets. Warehouse vacancy rates are at their lowest levels ever and utilization of warehouses is at an all-time high. Close to 96% of all buildings in the U.S. have been occupied um, right now. So 4% vacancy in the standing stock is, you know, lowest ever. In turn, rents are at all-time highs and pre-leasing rates are soaring. That's when companies lease the buildings before they're even built. The leasing volume is almost triple in some cases to what's being built every year. This is happening for a few reasons. We've been having like a decade long of strong growth um, and we had one of the highest leasing volume numbers in 2019. And then comes, um, you know, 2020 where we see an accelerated growth. There's been massive economic stimulus that has uh, really contributed to consumers buying goods, not experiences. And that has just driven a whole load of activity through the supply chains. E-commerce drives demand for warehousing because it requires three times the space of the traditional user. Why does e-commerce require three times the space? Uh, so there's a lot of requirements to say nothing of the inventory breadth and depth that's required, right? Uh, your average big box store might have 25,000 products, SKUs, stock keeping unit SKUs, and your online stores are millions. There's product variety, direct to consumer, reverse logistics, and each is picking that all take all that extra space. Warehousing demand is also driven by retailers securing more storage space to mitigate the impact of future supply chain shocks. Historically, supply chains were tuned for efficiency, not resiliency, kind of just in time versus just in case. And so we are just now starting, I'd say in the last 90, maybe 180 days, seeing customers who are starting to come into the market and lease space to satiate this just-in-case type of demand. The need for more warehousing in the U.S. aligns with consumer expectations. So as consumer expectations change, there has got to be that impact on the back end of it, which is supply chain, your tenants, you know, producing, sourcing the goods and getting it to that last mile. Warehouse leasing is likely to increase further into 2021, according to CBRE. Um, we'll definitely see more multi-story warehouses in the U.S. because there is that need for online shopping that's not going away anytime soon. Other trends in warehousing may continue as well, like grocery e-commerce, which requires cold storage facilities, and those facilities come at a higher price tag. The U.S. may need another 100 million square feet of cold storage facilities just to keep up with consumer demand in this space. 
Then there's robotics and automation, which is increasingly becoming part of warehouse work. And it's needed because the volume of activity just that's happening inside a warehouse it's increased tremendously now. Packages are coming in at a much faster rate. They are getting processed at a much faster rate and they're getting shipped out uh, much faster than what they were before. So there is definitely that need for labor. This means our customers are able to get even more value uh, out of these facilities. And in particular, those that are close to the end consumer, I think are gonna become even more valuable as a result of this trend. But hiring more workers and building more warehousing facilities won't simply fix the supply chain issues that the economy faces. This is going to take a while. You know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is going to be a situation that I think is going to take at least a year and potentially longer to truly rectify itself. As for the schoolies next chapter. I'm an adventurer, so to speak. We're going to do some traveling. I told my wife, though, if she wants to get me a present, she can get me a seat on SpaceX for three laps around the Earth, and I will be satisfied. <laughs> Since, I, since at 72, I'm not the oldest uh, anyway. Uh, you know, Shatner's older, and uh, so, uh, you know, I think I can do it. Okay, what did you get from the video? Here, uh, uh, is a uh, warehouse, is a uh, common uh, leasing for uh, shipping for for boys in in the line. Okay, very good, perfect. Uh, any other comment on the video? It was yes. kind of fun. I would I would comment soon. Okay. Okay, I understand some some uh parts about the increase the uh, work industrial you know, industrial work because um. I work worry because the industrial uh for handling uh, was was low, but uh in some states or United States with was increased. Uh, the example of Philadelphia, New York, um, New York, New York, uh, was increased the but they are worried too about the some place to recreate for the people because the industry is is increased. Very good, so definitely right. As we were discussing yesterday, uh, e-commerce is growing, but that means that also warehousing is, is growing. Right? So interesting. Any other comments? Yes, as a consequence uh, for the construction the warehouse. Um, uh, it's a big uh, land, Lord Landing uh, have a problems uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, ambience. Uh, if if uh, that's the consequences necessary, uh, construction uh, like a like a, a clean clean uh, construction and uh, lead, uh, lead certification uh, is very important. Very good. That is also very interesting because there are certifications for this kind, ESO or many others. So, uh, and uh, depending on the philosophy that you have for your production, uh, all those things are very, very interesting, very important, and definitely it's, it's growing. I mean, it's a consequence that is happening. So, any other comment on the video? Teacher, um, go ahead, okay. Roberto. Go ahead. Oh, no, you. Oh, okay, thank you. you. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, I mentioned that uh, the warehouse industry is very, is very interesting interesting because um, currently um, this industry is in increased in list and around of 96 percent in a, in a square feet uh, but the future of warehouse uh, is is now with the online online shopping 
in, in only one one click in the robotic and automatizations in the last video about Amazon warehouse uh, the mentioned to the this the this um automatic and robotic in, in robots in this in this space in the in the Amazon Amazon company very true so uh, I mean they are investing a lot of money because they know this is very important and it's very important a monster, a monster industry teacher definitely so uh, yes uh, they know that they this is a need so that's why starting right now they are trying to do their best so everything is more efficient right a robot a robot can work 24 hours a day so they don't have to go to the restroom uh, or eat i i understand uh, also teacher uh, United States uh, in a different state. It mentions Chicago, California, New Jersey is a state uh, in the is the base of the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what they are looking to get is a, a territory that it, it allows them to build this with no problem, right? And, and those kind of places are, are the best for them. So even even that one is something that they need to search, right? They need to check what is going to be the best option. Uh, Roberto Carlos. Hey, I can solve the individual that the e-commerce is broadly uh, uh, very strong. Uh, but I, I saw the difference uh, for one uh, one side uh, the uh, develop of the industry uh, for the keeping the product for the other face of the reality is the environment of the of the city because. Uh, the human it no help uh, on uh, no work with the with the hand of the environment and uh, and the industry uh, working separate and no make click for, for say something and but another situation that I can see uh, watching another video about the Alibaba. In the case of the Amazon, uh, is the, the human work is uh, very common. But in Alibaba, uh, is the majority is uh, the robot, is automatization of the process. In the, ca in the case of the Amazon, uh, is working many people. And the installation of the, of the Amazon in Alibaba is very different. The, the size and the size uh, Alibaba is is nice. Is more big, but the the population of China uh, of China is very big too. But uh, it is two two or three uh, quantity more than the United States. But uh, the difference for me is the, the most, uh, for me, important maybe uh, that the industry have to work in the hand of the environment and the ambient because uh, the problem is, uh, I don't remember is if uh, Amazon held here installation in California, but California had a problem very, very strong with the water. And that situation made that the humanity each day will be need more, more uh, protect the water or the, the research that, that help. Only, only watching the video. Okay. A big analysis 
politic and, and environment. That is true, actually. Uh, I mean, this is, as we are using the grammar, right? A consequence, right, of many things. I mean, everything that we do, everything that the companies do, it, it has a consequence for the planet, for the politics, for the economics. So uh, it's something that maybe we say, no, it's not something that I want to, I want to discuss, but that is true. Everything that happens impacts everybody. Nowadays, nobody is separated from the world. So that is another interesting thing. So uh, we need to analyze from different points of view, right? Not only from the need of the company to be efficient and to be effective. So uh, we're going to, I mean, to, to build, to build our big warehouse, you need to destroy a forest. You need to leave some animals with no homes, right? So that is a consequence. Also, uh, if the forest is destroyed, it's going to be hot, right? Because the climate is being impacted. And that is something that affects everybody, right? Not only the people that buy products from Amazon or the companies that sell the product, everybody's impacted. So that's why it's very interesting that in other countries, uh, people, they discuss these things. So they analyze these things to check that the people, the government, the companies, they do their right thing. It's a very important thing, right? Sure. Uh -huh. But the other problem, I think, the we are very, very consumers. That is, yeah, it's a problem, right? Because we buy a new product, and we don't know what happened for us to have that product. We don't know uh, the impact that that uh, has for the world, right? Uh, a very common example that was plastic, right? Uh, we buy water, we buy sodas, we buy uh, many juices or things like that one. Uh, we, uh, even when you put the garbage on the, on the place, even when you do that one, there is an impact on nature because we don't know what is going to be that. And remember that uh, the plastic bottles, for example, they are going to be in the plant for 100 years. In mind, that is crazy. We buy we buy everything, but we don't need everything. That is so true. So uh, all the consumism, uh, everything that we do, affects affects the planet affects the country affects everybody because may, i remember that in the future i mean if the water is contaminated if it's polluted that is going to cause sickness for people i mean it's a big problem right so and uh, it's because what you say i mean right now um, everybody wants everything everybody wants to get the latest cell phone. I mean, sometimes your cell phone is working very well, but you need the one with the best camera, right? Or things like that. So good, perfect. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. So uh, this is something that happens, but I believe here in El Salvador, people they don't analyze these things, right? So we see they are building a new place, a new a new mall, and we uh, we analyze actually we analyze because with our friends we say hey they are going to destroy all the forest but nobody does anything good good okay um we're going to have practice then because we have a few more minutes so uh we have a question before that i was asking to some of you Let's start with that one and let's see what happens. But I'm going to ask the question to everybody right now. What is the meaning of life? Do you remember that we were discussing about that one? Why are we here in this world? To buy Coca-Cola? Maybe not, right? So, why? Why are you here in this world? Anybody wants to share? What is the meaning of life? This is an interesting question 
teacher uh, in a reflexive question for me because uh, for me the, the most important in my life is my my family uh, my partner uh, and me teacher the happy the happy uh, the happiest for me is a, a state uh, with my family that my family is are good or, or is good uh, for the health um, um, that my, my, my friends, my older sisters, my twins uh, have a good job. Uh, for me, this this part for me, uh, I think peace for for this because they uh, they are good. Very good, perfect. So uh, yes, uh, that is probably the most common uh, motivation that people have in this world, right? So you work, you live because of your family, because of maybe your friends or uh, things like that one. So yeah and uh, well there are many other things that sometimes we want to achieve right but sometimes we don't have enough time we work a lot and sometimes that is one of the regrets that people have at the end of their life uh do you know what is regret i'm gonna write the word in the chat regret no. Very good. So, a lot of people, when they are in the last days of their lives, they have regrets. And one of the most common is to, to spend more time with the family. So, not working, but with the family. I regret, teacher, I regret that don't stay in the uh, miss universe event okay so this is on saturday right saturday saturday but uh today is a is a oh a a, a one a one event mm, because okay. uh, the miss universe uh they um she she has she has three moment uh for the dress event the elegant dress event and the bikini bikini i don't i don't know that swimsuit today is this mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, in the saturday is uh, the the dress event but this is the the three days for the event but very very important for the a lot of traffic in san salvador Oh, yeah, that is true. I was checking that some streets will be closed, right? So, because the misses are going to be running there. Nah, that's not true. Anyways, but, um, yeah, I, I heard that it's going to be closed. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Right? So, and yeah, is that uh, an event that a lot of people, they want to be there. So, yeah, sometimes we don't have the chance right, because it's too expensive. Yeah. Rene, you were going to say something. Ah, oh, the, the, the global hot in the world is, uh, is uh, mentioned the uh, earnest for the, the, the weak child. And he read it a better word than we found it. Interesting, so. Yes. It's uh, retroactive. The global, global hot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a consequence that affects everybody. Uh, I believe that that happens for everything. Whatever you give is what you receive. Right. If you do very good things to people, to the planet, 
is you are going to receive that back, right? So um, the thing is that sometimes people, they don't understand that concept, but that is true. Small, small things, for example, don't use in the car and use in the bicycle. And for example, and off of the line, save water in in a a, a very very much and things and plus in the the reduce the global the global hot. Yeah, that is true. Uh, I believe that one of the problems that we have about these very important problems that we have is that nobody does anything. I mean, there are discussions. I, I know that the governments from all the countries, they get together and they discuss many things, but nothing happens, right? I mean, I believe uh, that if they had a plan where everybody is involved, I mean, every single person, people in the planet is involved to avoid plastics or avoid uh, doing something, everybody, then yes, the planet might be better. But yeah, sometimes, I mean, politics is it's not good, right? So they are talking about what is better for them and not for the people in the planet, right? Yes, uh, uh, teacher, it's necessary. We see all the all the imagine and uh, it is a uh, is very important. Uh, all uh, have the uh, conciencia. Do you say conciencia or conscious? Conscious or knowledge, uh, but uh, the for example. The problem is, no uh, is completely the plastic. Uh, the, the problem is how many uses uh, uh, do it the, the, the plastic. Uh, okay, uh, is is uh, el, the plastic the one use is very dangerous for all the is uh, some question uh, is necessary within uh, uh, very hard. That is true. That is true. So, uh, yeah, there might be uh, a solution for this one. And not no, not only this one. Uh, can I say something very interesting? That we should be here uh, living a better world when we go, right? So if you work and you do many good things, at the end of your life, you should live everything better. But sometimes... That is not the case. Uh, humanity sometimes, they do the same mistakes all over again. They repeat. And that is not good. For example, war, right? Uh, when I was a kid, I was thinking, I mean, there was the first world war, the second world war. And now we have war again. And are the same mistakes, right? people dying because of money, because of power. The reasons might be a lot, but I mean, we are in the 21st century with a lot of technology, a lot of many things, but we continue doing the same mistakes. So that is not good at all. So what do you think about that? Why people, they do the same mistakes once and again? Why? The problem is in the economic world. Economic world don't don't import or the destruction, the, the loss, the, the trees, the destruction for the water pure. So important. The education for the many many dinners, many. Many money. <laughs> this is the problem. The problem is that, for example, the minery, the Bitcoin, is the consumer excessive 
the energy for the uh, freezers, the computers, is no no friendly for the for the planet. That is true. Yes. That is totally true. I mean, uh, I don't know. The behavior of everybody, the new generations, uh, many things are affected. For example, technology. I remember that a long time ago, people that they were pushing on technology, they say the world is going to be better, right? Because everybody is going to have a lot of knowledge and they are going to learn and going to be very, very smart. But now you see that with the technology, people are dancing, people are, I mean, it's fine. It's fine to get entertain, entertainment, right? But also you can learn many things. I mean, there's a lot of information about the universe, about interesting things. If you want to learn something, I mean, in this time is it's very easy. You just need to go and look for a video or look for a book and you are able to learn. But instead of that one, we are doing crazy stuff. I I believe, teacher, that the people um, don't don't um, don't don't think the the problem or the environmental problem uh, because. Uh, the people only think of them and their needs in the in the consumers' culture, but um, don't don't reflexive. Uh, we don't reflexive about the problem. Uh, if I want, I I buy the water for this plastic. For, for example. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe that there are many things. Uh, another problem that we're experiencing right now is a lot of people are very superficial, right? If you go, for example, to Instagram, uh, you see a lot of people that they are showing a beautiful life right? uh, with beautiful places, a lot of nice food, clothes. But sometimes it's only appearance. It's not the real life. It's good to, to travel, it's good to have nice things, but sometimes, I mean, you don't have money, sometimes you are sick. So life is more than that. And uh, the world has changed very fast in that aspect. I believe that, yes, is what it should be doing, but um, it's something very, I don't know, it's crazy how everything is going very fast in some aspects and very slow in some other aspects. Anyways, there, um, go ahead. Ah, no, it, it, it's, 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 um, it's important to create edu, edu, educa, education, education and awareness is about the use the plastic, the use the papers. Uh, uh, in, in use is a... Uh, in education, uh, the children is the boys, and we 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 always the uh, need education in 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 use in the the plastic is no no use uh, is is in is in other in other countries is a uh, um. I have uh, we have a conscient uh, so they use the the water is a uh, the the people is a deposit uh, y, y lo refilan the, the water no use plastic bot bottle that is true so yeah. the, depending on many things you can do some other stuff right sí. It is necessary we, we we have a copy situation. Yeah, yeah, education is one of the answers that we have. But 
I don't know. It's kind of complicated. Anyways, there are good things. I mean, some for example, I was reading that in Germany, uh, there is like a factory, is something like a building where uh, the German people they purify the water from the ocean. They remove the salt and purify that one. So that is a very good thing. I mean, water in the future is going to be a big problem, right? Because of many reasons. But if we are able to do those little changes, probably uh, we are going to be very good, right? The problem uh, with, with the osmosis inverse, inverse osmosis, the process of uh, to take the salt of the ocean water is that made the concentration of salts in the more near of the coasts. And that is a, a environment problem, a future. Mm -hmm. uh, but you say uh, anything interesting that is uh, uh, the education. In, in our country, the problem is the indifference with the education about the use of the uh, natural research uh, because we ex uh, we made the, the exploitation and not care uh, the environment. And I, I saw yesterday uh, uh, a person any, anyway, uh, but in a, a beauty car, but only take a bottle of, I don't see the juice or water, and take um, and for the for the street. And you can see many people that uh, go driving in a, in a, on the road. In a beauty car, an expensive car, maybe, but the trash is mal disposed. It's mal disposed. It is for the street. It is for the river. It's after in the in the ocean. Today I saw the 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 curious part. Uh, for example, the 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 Nilo River. Is color blue. Is well color blue. Is the contamination is very very uh, aggressive in, in this river, but is used for for many many uh, people and for many countries. More of three countries that this uh, uses the water of, of this river. But the problem you not know, is uh, no help control with the problem. And the humanity no help control in the use of our research. And I think that it maybe can change, but this education, the secret. The, that is true. Education is one of the most important things. And also you mentioned something very important as well. People don't care, right? Uh, I mean, and this, uh, the consequence of these actions uh, impact future generations. For example, I don't know if you have seen the news that in New York, uh, there are rats on the size of a cat. So, and they are everywhere. There are, they say that there are more rats in New York than people. In my, how crazy is that one? That is not good. That is not good. And with the hurricane, the last hurricane that is uh, in New York, say that the the problem the rats and the water, because in the subway is the problem more, more serious uh, with the rats and the water uh, for the for the water for the inundation. And the rat because it is sick the people it is is danger for the health of the people. It's very dangerous. I mean, uh, 
they sometimes go out and they don't care about the human people, right? They just run there trying to get some food. And of course, uh, I mean, I believe that what happened uh, is that the previous governments, they didn't do anything, right? About this problem and the problem continued to grow. Now it's a, a problem that impacts everybody because they go out and they go into the supermarkets and they get some things there. I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, but as I was telling you also, there are things. I was also reading uh, or checking a video, it was a video too, where uh, some governments, some companies on the government, they are able to make rain. They are able to create clouds for uh, they to, to rain over cities or things that way. So that is crazy. Well, have you seen that? That some people, some companies from some governments, they create clouds so they can create yeah. art artificial rain in my that. Yeah, use uh... Use a canyon for the shot to the to the clone and make rain. And it is a, a problem because it is a, a but it's natural. And the water no problem, but the problem is that the, the chain is simple, the, the cycle of the water. Uh, because if don't don't have a Invierno, no recuerdo cómo se dice. Eh, winter. Winter. Eh, the winter is coming. Uh, Game yeah. of Thrones. Ah, yeah. Ah, but uh, for the for the water in the case, uh, using uh, using the, the the system of injecting the, the the silver. Silver particle of silver and the clothes and make rain, but it's com it's complicated because it's more contam contamination. It's more problem for the for the environment. So imagine that one. So there is a solution, but I believe that that is another problem that we have in the humanity right now. So they create a product, a solution, but also has an impact right yeah, a negative impact so i believe that I mean, if you analyze all the food or the things that we have they cause health problems everything i mean it's a big it's a big thing that we are consuming poison sometimes uh, on everything so at the end, I mean, when this generation is 50, 60 years old, they are going to be very sick. Right? They are going to have serious problems on health. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And uh, I don't know what is going to happen in the future, so let's hope for the better. But I, I believe that a lot of things are going to happen. So, for example, in technology, they say that in the future you will be able to have a robot in your house. So they they do kind of different things. Would you like to have a robot in your house? Yes, in my house, in the company, teacher, the people no no like working working. <laughs> uh, that is a big problem. Yeah, people. Yeah. Nowadays, they I don't know. I was watching yeah. a video of a girl that she was crying because she has to work forty hours a week. So, I mean, yeah. that's uh, the robot. No, no permission. Don't have permission. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to go to lunch or break or to the restroom. So they are yeah. very very efficient. Yeah. You only want uh, you only uh, make one pain and working hard the robots. That is it. Yeah. Maybe no. that's 
maybe that is one of the things, right? That that is going to be very very expensive. Go ahead. No, and um, I'm thinking about your your you ask ask to ask, but um, uh, sometimes yes, I I I think it's necessary for me. I need a a one robot for clean my house. Yeah, it's good. Why? My... Why? Because uh, I don't have. Sometimes I look for the person, but I don't find. Uh, it's a uh, uh two. We have a uh, complaint with them. We have to pay. Uh, is we had to pay vacation. We had to pay in the, on December, and uh, when they sick, we have a, a, a big problem too. <laughs> And yeah. then, ah, he, 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 their food too. Um, it's terribly because we we looking for the person, but we don't don't find that. In this time, it's difficult. And personal, personally, I have to work out of my house. It is difficult for me to clean my house. Yeah, I believe that this is a story about everybody, right? You are very tired. You have to go back from your work very tired. You yeah. have dinner and you don't, you can do more things, right? So it's, it's very uh, difficult. And a robot it definitely is a good solution for that. Go ahead. Teacher, uh, then uh, Veronica mentioned something very, very important that I, underst I understood that Veronica needs a robot for the cleaning the house. But yes. in, my, in my case, I need a robot uh, because, because I need someone to make the best pupusas. Okay. <laughs> a, ro a robot made in Oloculta. Yes, ah. yes. Ernesto, you win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know that you, very, very creative the moment. The day Pupusa and the Sunday, it purifies Pupusas or win. No. 35. <laughs> yes. The crazy. For me, that is a sacrifice, not this a pleasure. Yeah, but... too much is not good. Yeah. Okay. No, it's it's, it's interesting. You, huh? you, so you only only eight, Nestor. Only <laughs> eight. eight. You are you only eight? Who's that? You? Oh no, for me, I I eat normal in a normal day two or three pupusas my stomach is very very small all right so biggest yeah uh, any of the big ones <laughs> yes but in the case uh, you can the air for yeah <laughs> ah, okay okay <laughs> Very good, very good. For me, it's unbelievable uh, that one person can eat uh, 20, 20 uh, 30, 35 pupusas uh, in only one occasion. <laughs> so I, I think that here is uh, 200 or 300 dollars. Robert, after Robert, I, the, the key is don't drink anything. Yeah. I, in the case, one uh, bocado, uh, one bocado, one drink. Uh, mm. Yes. And the cortillo. Many <laughs> cortillo. With sauce. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, and not good. Things, <laughs> that is the experience. Yeah, maybe we have to go for just two or three, and that's it. So, because too much, we're going to be sick, and that is not good. <laughs> okay, my friends, 
very good talk tonight. We spoke a lot. That is very good. And we're going to check the attendance so we can go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. Eh, María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. José As Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yandira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Present. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. I'm here, teacher. I want to ask you something, teacher. Yep. Uh, I heard you. We have to finish the platform in unit one and two. Unit one, two, and the midterm test. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Just oh. like, uh, okay. Nice. All right, my friends. Uh, it's, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you Very tomorrow. Good teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. All. See you. Good. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you. See you. Hello, Monica.